Hey everyone, it's me Diara. Welcome back. This is your 7 to 10 days prediction. This is a reading that tells you something about the future, something that you may not know right now. Maybe you already feel it, maybe you already sense that something is coming. Um, it is supposed to be about the next 7 to 10 days, as of today, the moment that this reading finds you. And it is a timeless reading, okay? And I also would like to invite you to make it yours, if you know what I mean, okay? Just make it yours. There will be three parts to choose from. If you want to, you could probably say, okay, part number one is going to be about my love life. Part number two is going to be about my finances and career, my life purpose, my professional life. And part number three is just a random general message. This is just an example, okay? You don't have to do it this way. It's just that you can take so much out of one single video, out of one single message, if you are open and willing to make the effort. Uh, I have decreased the my uploads a bit, um, and it just happened, just like that. I couldn't really feel the energy, and I don't want to deliver a reading if I don't really feel it, okay? Um, so you can be sure that whenever I do upload, it's happening for a reason. So there will be a message for you. But if I don't upload for a while, like a week, maybe two weeks, three weeks, it also has a reason. Okay. So thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for understanding. Thank you so much for your support, your donations. Thank you very much for every single comment, every single feedback. Every feedback is like a hug. It's like as if someone is taking me into their arms and giving me a bit fat hug. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And I think I will upload more as of April. It's just that right now I am so busy with my other life in terms of flying and teaching and stuff. Um, but as of April, I will have way more time so you can already look forward to it, okay? Okay, so let's go. Go with the flow. Pile number one, number two, number three. Maybe you don't need these colors. Maybe you don't need any help, any subjects, any crystal stones. And you can just, like that, choose your number. Um, I don't know. Everyone is different. I read for a lot of people. Let's start with pile number one. So, if you have chosen the very first pile, the blue one, What's coming up for you? The next seven to ten days, más o menos. This is an open reading. It's a general reading. Take what resonates. Don't try to make something fit that doesn't fit. Very important. And just be open for everything that Spirit wants you to know today. So, what's coming in? The next seven to ten days. What do we have? Four of Swords in Rebirth. Trust in reverse. I think you have lost your 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 faith a bit about something. Maybe you felt stuck for a while. But I feel that hope is coming in again. Maybe, yes, something was stuck. Maybe something just didn't happen. And something, sometimes it's like that, right? Sometimes we are waiting for something. Sometimes we wish for something. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we have an idea in our head and we really, really want this to happen. We really want this to manifest, but it's not happening. It's just not happening. And we're like, what the heck is going on here? And I feel the trust card in reverse is that you have your doubts. You are very skeptical about something. Maybe skeptical about this new job, this new location, this new person. I don't know, whatever it is. Maybe you are very skeptical about the future in general, skeptical about um, this therapy that someone suggested to you health-wise. Um, but Spirit is encouraging you to, or maybe, well, I mean, not encouraging you, but it's a 7 to 10 days prediction. And I feel hope is coming in again. 
Yes, you may have felt stuck and maybe you were stuck, but now hope is coming in. And I love to see this card. This is Hoffnung. It's a German card and it means hope. Okay, stay optimistic. I know it's not easy to stay optimistic in different times. This is why we call them different times, but it's worth it. Always believe in the best. Always believe that there is a solution. Believe that spirit has your back. And know that the stuckness, four of swords in reverse, it's a good thing to get this card in reverse, by the way. If you have not yet understood what I'm talking about, the four of swords upright is talking about feeling stuck and you know, like nothing is happening. This person is just laying down here. It looks as if they are praying. It looks as if they are probably sleeping or in a coma or maybe even worse, who knows. But the card is in reverse. And it means the stuckness is moving out of your system, okay? Things are about to happen again. And that's a good thing, I feel. I feel like this is a very optimistic spread. What else? Ten of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So, happy ending. Everything is... You are stepping back into your power, pile number one, for sure. Nine of Coins is the Independency card. She's a very, very strong woman. She knows her worth. She is actually like a goddess, you know. She's just there enjoying nature, enjoying the flowers, the plants, the fruits of her effort. She's enjoying her, her money, her career, everything that she has achieved. And she's also very, very, um, you know, connected to her worthiness, but also her femininity. Um, so this is all about divine feminine superpowers. And I feel... Yeah, you are being brought back on track, whatever that means, you know, like maybe you feel like you want to flirt, you want to dance again, you want to date again, and maybe you haven't done so for a while. Maybe you haven't been on a date for ages, and now it's coming back, you know, like you feel it, you, you, yeah, you are gaining back your power and the hope and the faith that good things are about to happen. Mm, let's see, is there anything else we would want you to know? Pile number one, any other message? Next seven to ten days. Stepping back into your power and your divine feminine energies. New life, yeah. I don't know why we see so many reversals. I have the feeling every single card wanted to come out in reverse. I mean, I could go now and say, hey, you know what, today I don't do reversals. But to me, maybe it has a reason. Maybe everything was very much, you know, like um, head over heels for you. Maybe you were very confused. Maybe you had no answers anymore. Maybe you lost your hope, you lost your power, you lost your strength and everything, as I said before. And now we see the new life card popping out in reverse, but still, it's the new life. And I feel, bottom of the deck, finally, upright, the breath card, you are about to take a deep breath in, finally again, and a deep breath out, like relief, you know, like, ah, finally, Whew. you know what I'm saying? So I see a new chapter, I see a new life for you, pile number one, and I love it. I love this card, I love this spread. I know you have to think outside the box a little bit in order to make sense of these cards. It's not so easy to understand them. Um, and anyways, I mean, every reader is different. Every reader would give you a different interpretation about the same spread, the same cards, and it's up to you what you make out of it, right? So is there anything else we need to know for those who have chosen pile number one? I want to take one love card, and it's an upright card. Yay, finally. And also one angel oracle card. Pile number one. What do we need to know? If I had to say it in one single sentence, I would say 
you will finally see a light at the end of the tunnel again. Yeah, and here it is. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. Exactly. You see? New life. Yeah. Reaching up. Getting up. Awakening. Renewal. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often, this is because you are not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truth. Yeah. Old, out with the old. As I said, it's time to wake up. It's time, you know, like to find new ways. And I feel something new is waiting for you. Um, a new chapter, a new way, a new direction. Um, the stuckness, the emptiness. This is finally over with, you know, and there is a lot of abundance coming in. Yeah. Oh my God. It couldn't be any better. Worth waiting. Divine timing. Yeah. As I said, it was all worth waiting for it. Yes, I know it was not easy for you, pile number one. There has been a lot going on out there for you and on all different levels. Okay. But now there is way better times waiting for you and you will one day you will look back and you will take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and you will understand that it was all worth waiting for it wow namaste peace out and all the best pile number one thank you so much pile number two let's go the next seven to ten days mas or menos plus minus Universe has no time, but we do, right? So this is all about the next seven to ten days. What do you need to know? What's coming in? Let's see. Three tarot cards. Wanted to come out. I was actually asking for one, but for one reason, I don't know. I think it has to be three. Pile number two, pile number two, the next seven to ten days. Let's see, the star, the hierophant, who, big cards, major arcana cards only, the wheel of fortune, wow, we have three major arcana cards, insights, take a look inside, a no, and new life again, wow. <laughs> Okay, we saw the new life card before in pile number one, and we also saw the star card a bit in pile number one. Um, I think, okay, what does it mean? The next seven to ten days, pile number two. You will get a no. The answer to one of your questions is going to be a no, okay? I have to tell you that because it is what it is, and I don't sugarcoat. It can be a good thing that the answer is a no. It depends on the question, right? But I definitely do see that this no is leading you into a better direction, into a new life. Something or someone is turning out to be a failure, so to say, and that's a good thing. That's the funny thing, you know, like I know that usually we would say that, oh, getting a no is always a bad thing, you know, but in your case, it's a good thing. And it's leading you also into moments where you will have a look into yourself and your own innermost needs and desires. Okay. Very often we are focused on the outer world we want to know what they feel what they want you know we are trying to please people um very often we want to be happy but the thing is the happiness is very often something that depends on someone or something else and that's where the problem starts because happiness should be an inside job okay and you will get the opportunity here within the next seven to ten days um, to find that out, that happiness is an inside job, okay? And that getting a no is actually a yes. It only depends on how you see it. Um, 
So new starts, restarts, new beginnings, different new chapters are about to be open up for you. Um, the star card is a very positive card. So I don't see you being in trouble in whatsoever way within the next seven to ten days. Definitely not. Um, probably a person, a, a male person is going to be important for you. Um, someone that you look up to, the Hierophant. A person of respect it could be a doctor it could be your ex it could be your crush your love interest your boss your father um, he's going to play a role within the next seven to ten days okay just for you to know something good something bad I don't know I don't want to say something fake here um, but I know that this person a male person is going to play a role in your life for the next seven to ten days. Um, I would rather tend to say in a good way, I don't see anything bad happening here with this person. Okay, but as I said, I don't want to say something, just, you know, like to say something. Um, I think it's going to be something good. Ace of Action. Your Oracle card is the Ace of Action, the Ace of Wands. This card is telling you about a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams in general. This is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. Yeah, as I said, and maybe this Hierophant person here is helping you with creating new endeavors, reaching them building something up you know maybe i mean it could also be that maybe um you wanted to work with someone and this person gave you a no they did not want to work with you but now you find out that it's turning out to be something better that it's t that it's good you know, to work on your own and to create your own business and your own style and your own brand, you know. I don't know, something among those lines. Let me know in the comments. Let me definitely know in the comments if you could resonate, if it made sense to you. Um, let's see, do we get, do, should I take one more card? Yes, I think so. One final card for those who have chosen pile number two. Is there anything else we need to know? Aha, uh -huh. side job, a side hustle. Yeah, maybe it has to do with your business. I don't know. Something about your business, your career. Um, maybe you want to change something in terms of your business and your career. Maybe you want to work part-time only so you can invest more time into your real soul business. Um, that could definitely be the case for a lot of you. Maybe you want to have more time, you know, like to build up your own community, to work a little bit more on the social media. You know, I'm saying building up your own thing, your own style, your own community. That's going to play a role. Yeah, definitely. It has to do with your career. And also this Hierophant male person has to do with your career. It's either, for some of you, you may have cut cords with this person finally because it was time to go on your own or someone else is going to help you, you know, um, and that is also a good thing. We have to be open for help. Sometimes it's good to have someone else on board who knows a bit more about stuff than we do. Okay, so it's it could be both ways. It depends on your own individual situation. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Let's move on with the final pile, which is going to be pile number three. Pile number three, what do we need to know? The next seven to ten days. Timeless reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Let's just see what's going to, to happen for you. The next seven to ten days. Pile number three. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Laughter. 
justice. I love it. I love the justice card. Express yourself clearly and... Mm -mm. Okay, how should I re um, translate this? Um, this is about infinitive ideas, you know, like being creative and, and really enjoying it, you know. So, yeah, obviously you are going to be very creative and in a good mood for the next 7 to 10 days. Isn't that a good message? Um, isn't that what we all want? We want to be in a good mood. We want to feel inspired. We want to feel motivated, like from the inside. We want to see only the good things in people, in situations. We want to be optimistic, um, in a good mindset in general. And I think this is what you get for the next seven to 10 days. Finally, I mean, isn't that a good message? I think it is. Express yourself clearly. So take this boost of energy and express yourself clearly. If you want to do something, if you want to build up something, if you want to change something, go ahead and talk about it. Okay? Communicate. This card is all about communicate. The fifth chakra, the throat chakra. And you know that in Sanskrit, which is the yoga language, we, we don't call it throat chakra. I mean, we call it throat chakra. It comes with the color blue, but it's also like called in Sanskrit Vishuddha chakra. And Vishuddha means cleanse, detox, you know? And I feel like it makes sense. Number one, we see a lot of blue here, right? So it is definitely about communication and it's about to communicate in order to heal, in order to talk it out, talk about it. Don't, you know, like think that other people can read your mind because they can't. They can't read your mind, okay? If you have something that you need to talk about, go and talk about it. Express yourself clearly because people, they can't read your mind. And what you will get in return is justice justice, fairness. You will be treated in a very fair, decent way the next seven to ten days. And I love it. I think there is actually not so much more to say, right? You will feel good. You will treat others in a good way. And this is why you get this in return. This is how life goes. This is the universal law, right? Um, you get out what you put in. And that's how it is. And this single rule, you can apply to almost everything. You only get out what you put in. One more oracle card for those who have chosen pile number three. Messenger of action. Something new and exciting relating to your creativity. You see again, creativity or your career comes to your attention, you feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going, although you may feel insecure as well. Do it anyways. This card represents someone in your life who is creative, enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything. This is maybe you, you know, like, so maybe you will be with like-minded people for the next couple of days and weeks, people who are exactly as inspired as you are and you guys are going very well together, every meaning of the word, or um, it's just you all by yourself that you feel this boost and this lift up and you will get going no matter what others say. It could also be that you will get to know, as this card says, someone who is very inspired and they will kind of, you know, this will be like contagiously, you know, like you will get infused by their spirit in a very good way. Um, yeah, so this is actually what I have for those who have chosen pile number three. I think this is very lighthearted energy in general. You will feel good. Um, you will... Yeah, get the chance to talk about your dreams, your ideas. You will be very creative within the next couple of days. 
and you will get that in return you know i love the justice card this is one of my personal favorite cards because i love justice and you don't have to fear this card you only have to fear this card or let's say you only would have to fear this card if you have something bad in mind yourself right because then maybe it is a bit scary to listen and to see that okay you will get back what you get out but actually if you have only the best intentions it's always a good thing to see that those energies are getting back to you you know good intentions positive vibes and yeah feeling motivated feeling inspired and a lot of laughter you know being in a good mood having the right mindset, seeing the glass half full instead of half empty, which is so important, right? Okay, so this is it. I think I leave it here. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. Thank you again for your understanding. Me being a bit slow these days and not really, you know, like wanting to deliver just for the sake of deliverings because I feel you deserve more, right? You deserve a reader who's at its his or her best. And um, I think everyone deserves a little break every now and then. I'm doing this. I have my channel going on for more than four years now. And maybe it's just nature, right? Maybe it's an organic process that sometimes you feel like you want to deliver every single day, probably multiple times in one single day. And then again, you know, like there are these phases where you feel like, oh, I'm taking it easy these days. I don't want to deliver so much. I want people to be in their own processes as much as I am in my own process. And whenever I feel like I have to say something, I will return. Okay, so peace out and namaste.